Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss a very important topic that is Maxwell's equations in phasor form. Now let us start with the discussion. Now first, first of all, we have to discuss what is the meaning of a sinusoidal quantity? What is the meaning of sinusoidal quantity or form? Okay, so basically three things are required to understand this. First thing is amplitude. First thing is amplitude. Second one is frequency. And third one is phase. Third one is phase. Now, for example, for example, uh, in, your log, in your lower classes, uh, you have uh, written E is equals to E naught cos of omega t plus phi okay now here e naught e naught is the amplitude maximum value of electric field omega frequency angular frequency phi is the phase phi is the phase okay now uh, what are what is the meaning of uh, sinusoidal quantity diagrammatically it is just like this Okay, the wave is moving like this. It may be in the form of cosine. It may be in the form of sine. Maybe if it is in the form of sine, then we can write down like this. Omega t plus plus phi 1. Where phi 1 equals to phi plus pi by 2. Now, there is a phase. There is a phase change of pi by 2. Pi by 2. So here the phase is changing. Here the phase is changing. Okay. So omega is dependent upon time. Omega is dependent upon time. Phi is not dependent upon time. It is dependent upon the position vectors. It is dependent upon the position vectors. Okay. X, Y, Z. Okay. In, in exponential form. Okay. It is very easy write these terms in exponential form e with symbol this x comma y comma z comma t equals to real part e x comma y comma z e raised to power iota omega t or in short form e r t equals to real part e r e raised to power iota omega t okay here e r e r is the vector phase okay or the phasor vector or the phasor vector because it depends only on the r it depends only on the r okay it does not depend upon the time so we have separated we have separated this equation to two parts one part is that is dependent upon the position other part is that is dependent upon the time and this symbol this symbol is known as tilde t i l d e t i l d e Okay, so we can write this equation as in the time varying fields. Now, this is the time varying fields. Uh, the electric fields or the magnetic fields can be represented like this equation. Real part of ER, that is the position part. And E raised to power iota omega t, that is the time varying part. Okay, it is just like that if you write e raised to power iota theta. Okay, e raised to power iota theta. So, it will be e cos of theta plus iota sin of theta. So, it has a real part. It has a imaginary part. It has a real part that is this part and it has a imaginary part that is this part multiply by this part okay so ERT just remember that ERT means in the time varying fields 
in the time varying fields all the fields are represented by represented by the real portion and the the space portion and the time varying portion the space portion and the time varying portion portion okay now we have to derive the maxwell's equations we have to derive the maxwell equations in phasor form in phasor form okay means only in this form okay only the space position dependent form okay now what was the first maxwell equation generally del dot d equals to rho del dot d equals to rho okay now in time varying form in time varying form this d d is equals to in short form i am not writing rt here it is equals to real vector d here i will mention vector d as like this e raised power iota omega t okay and rho can also be depended upon volume charge density can also be depended upon e raised power iota omega t okay so del, del dot del dot d equals to rho or in general this equation can be written as del dot d equals to rho now put this equation here it will become del dot real d e raised to power iota omega t equals to rho or del dot rear d e raised to power iota omega t minus rho equals to zero okay now forget about this what is the what is the what is our phasor form this this part only which is dependent upon the which is dependent upon the position vector forget about this part and forget about this part okay and about this part del del dot now what is the meaning of del dot okay now del did del is i cap d by dx plus j cap d by dy plus k cap d by dz it is already dependent upon the position part only it's not dependent upon the time part only so we will just consider from this equation those parts which are dependent upon the position and those parts are del dot d and rho is separately there okay so remaining you can ignore because we are trying to convert this into the phasor form okay so it will be del dot d equals to rho del dot d equals to rho now this is the maxwell equation first maxwell equation in phasor form there is no not much different difference okay but you will see the uh, third and fourth maxwell equation okay now second maxwell equation in general term it was del dot b equals to zero now if b is equals to real of b e raised to power iota omega t so del dot real b e raised to power iota omega t equals to zero okay now just forget these time varying parts just remember the position parts okay so this is our position part maxwell second equation that is dependent upon the phase 
okay now what is the meaning of phase this is phase okay it is changing as per the phase depended upon the position now the now important and interesting one third maxwell equation back cross e equals to minus db by dt back cross e is equals to minus db by dt e is equals to in time varying form in time varying form it is real phasor form this part is phasor form e raised to power iota omega t magnetic flux density real part okay b e raised to power iota omega t okay now put these two equations here and here this will become del cross real e raised to power iota omega t equals to minus db by dt real b real b e raised to power iota omega t now what should be differentiation of e raised to power iota omega t with respect to d by dt this will be minus iota omega real b e raised to power iota omega t remember this is this part is dependent upon the phase only not on the position this part okay and left hand side is del cross real del cross real e raised to power e raised to power iota omega t now change the sides now change the sides of this equation okay change the sides of this equation it will become real del cross e plus iota omega b e raised to power iota omega t equals to zero now what you have to forget you have to forget these two parts just ignore these two parts okay ignore these two parts and just concentrate on the phasor form just concentrate on the phasor form so phasor form will be equals to del cross e plus iota omega b equals to zero or del cross e equals to minus iota omega b so this is the maxwell third equation maxwell's third equation in phasor form what was the real equation del cross e is equals to minus db by dt okay it is very simple to convert from this to this just convert this part into the phasor form and convert the differentiation part with respect to time time dependent part into this d by dt part okay into iota omega okay you will get del cross e but remember here e is dependent upon both space and time here e is dependent upon only only the space the phase only okay the fourth maxwell equation maxwell fourth equation what was maxwell fourth equation del cross h equals to j plus curly d by curly t if i want to okay suppose this is a tilde is here tilde is here tilde is here if i want to convert this part practically into the phasor form okay first we will do this so time varying part time varying field will be converted into the will be converted into the space dependent h j is now space dependent symbol may be same curly by curly t or d by dt iota omega okay and d del cross h equals to j plus iota omega d so 
by phasor form maxwell's equation become simplified okay we will omit this differentiation part we will omit the time varying part and we will just have the position dependent position dependent and for d by dt we have iota omega now this was direct this was the direct result if we want to convert uh, from this equation to this equation by uh, derivation then del cross real part h e raised power iota omega t equals to real part j e raised power iota omega t plus d by dt real part e raised power iota omega t with vector t okay that is dependent upon the that is dependent upon the phase only phase only so this will be real part real part j e raised power iota omega t and after differentiating differentiating this with respect to this we will get iota omega real part d e raised power iota omega t or real part del cross h minus iota omega d minus j e raised power iota omega t equals to zero okay so we have to concentrate on the phase dependent parts only these parts these parts real e raised power iota omega t cannot be zero so what can be zero these parts only the phasor dependent parts only so we will have del cross h minus iota omega d minus j equals to zero or del cross h equals to j plus iota omega d okay this is the maxwell fourth equation in phasor form in phasor form okay uh, similarly you can write down this equation as the integral form that is h dot del equals to j plus iota omega d dot ds okay so for the first two maxwell equations the form is not not changed del dot e equals to del dot d equals to rho del dot b equals to zero but for the third one it was del cross e is equals to minus iota omega b just remember convert the normal convert the normal electric field or magnetic field into the phasor phase dependent fields and convert the d by dt into iota omega into iota omega this is the difference between the general maxwell equations and the phasor maxwell equations i hope you have understood if there is any doubt please share in the comment section thank you thanks a lot